Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Powell Day today. So we got to get ready for this speech. But we still have a full day of trading, or maybe no trading uh, before then. Let's take a look at what's been going on. Euro Yen. Gotta say, that did not work yesterday. We worked very hard to get a good average. Sold 40s, bought 25s, sold 40s, bought 30s. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, we're short at 60. We think we're fine, but uh, we're totally not fine. Uh, we uh, puked those up at 70. Watched it go back down to 25. Now we're back here at 70. Um, gonna put the guns down on Euro Yen. I got some better things to do. Dollar CAD uh, worked out yesterday. Uh, through 45, up to 75. Where's Dollar CAD? A little bit tricky on that move down to 39, but we were in it at, at, at the right level. So Dollar CAD looks pretty constructive here. If you look at that big bar now, kind of at the bottom of this sort of 400 point range, looks like we could have more upside dollar CAD. So if you are still long from yesterday, um, you can hold. If you're square, uh, this looks like a buy on dip today. That 40 point is going to be your, uh, your kill switch. So prices below 130, 40, you're killing. Uh, otherwise, you're looking for a move uh, eventually back up to 130.180. Um, again, it's going to be Powell today. If he's hawkish, there will be outsized moves. So, let's just get mentally ready for that, number one. Um, and then let's try and figure out which horse is going to be the best horse. We also have durable goods uh, in the U.S., so that'll be watched as well. Aussie's still on its knees. Um, just broken, broken uh, government. I'm not going to say broken country because that's Australia's not a broken country at all. It's one of the best places in the world to live. But they're having some political troubles right now, um, which leaves us stuck. Uh, right in the middle of this range. We'll call it 74, 72. No trade at 72.81, but we get it, we get hysterically bearish with prices below 72. Not sure that's going to happen today. Euro, again, kind of like everything, trickily right in the middle of the recent ranges. If he's dovish today, and we have to consider that because we always look both ways. This is a great point, 116.30. I don't think he's going to be dovish today. I think he's going to be hawkish, mainly because I think he wants to slap Donnie in the face. Just a guess. Um, where to sell Euro dollar? Tricky that. Um, Let's just see after durable goods. We'll probably have some levels down. See where we are then. Dollar Swiss could easily play the biggest form of catch up. Um, just from a rates perspective, this can have upside. If you look at equities, which are refusing to go down, 61 S&Ps. Um, Dollar Swiss could pop higher. You know, we're definitely not in any kind of risk off mode right now. Bonds are lower. Um, well, I should say bonds are not moving, but we're not risk off at all. So, Dollar Swiss could be a nice horse today for Powell. Uh, and quickly, Dollar Yen just had no idea that was going to happen yesterday. Just kind of floated higher. 
Here's a little death knock up here. Uh, got some highs here, 111.40. 1150. I don't know what to do with dollar yen. Um, again, as you can see, not a whole lot of amazing ideas uh, for this European morning. I think we're going to settle in, watch a little bit, be patient, see what comes up, and get ready for action at Durable Goods. Uh, watch the headlines from Jackson Hole and then also watch Powell's speech. Alright, not a whole lot to sink your teeth in this morning, but some days it's just like that. Good luck out there, people, and I will uh, talk to you later uh, through, uh, through the Twitter.